Michael, despite the, the scoreline, uh, heroic performance you say today from the, from the lads out there. Extremely proud, Dave. Um, I think the efforts, the desire and the commitment we put in today um, have to be merited. First and foremost, I think it's important to say it's an extremely difficult week for the football club, uh, in particular the players. I've been in the game 29 years, Dave, and this has been a particularly turbulent week. Um, myself and the coaching staff have only been in here two minutes and I've never seen what's happened this week in football happen anywhere else. But it's not a time to point fingers, Dave. It's a time to galvanise. We have to. We have no other choice. Um, I think it was really pleasing this week. A lot of the players come in and gave us a cuddle. Uh, every one of them. Um, and the way it's gone, Dave, I think it's one of them where we have to sit back and have massive empathy for the players this week. I think that's important uh, because of what's happened. Um, a representative from the board sat us down all together on Thursday and explained the situation uh, and the severity of the situation, which I think was important for all of us to hear because for all of us, Dave, it was new. We didn't know this information. And obviously it's affected the football club this week. It's affected the team I could feel today because on Thursday night, Dave, my team's completely different from what it actually is today. Now, there's no excuses from, from where I'm standing. Um, we have to compete on the football field. And I think the players that done that today, I think we finished, I don't know how many under-20s we played today, Dave, but they put in a huge effort, fantastic effort, to go 1-0 up there. I think everybody's looking at us thinking, what's going on here? Um, and fair play to Sterling, they gave us a game today. Um, and we've got to look at it with empathy, like I said, Dave, because the players have had a ridiculously difficult, difficult week coming up to Christmas. Um, and now it's time to reflect, take the weekend in, speak to a lot of my wise owls and footballs that I do, um, and see if this club can bounce back, Dave, because it's going to have to. There's no option here. Um, I'm going to speak to the board, the chairman, all the directors this week to find out the exact um, extent of the situation so that I know everything now, um, and then we can try and move this club forward in the best way we see fit and possible. Um, and I think it's important that all the governing bodies, Dave, I'm going to speak to all of them on Monday as well as a manager, because I want to find out exactly what's been going on um, and make sure that we get the best advice. Because we've only been here two minutes, like I said to you earlier, Dave. Yeah? And I now need to know, as a manager, where this football club's at and how we can progress it forward. And I think, yes, it's been doom and gloom the last 40 hours, Dave, but I need to know, I haven't got time to, to sit and cry. I need to put a team on, on the football pitch that can compete. And somehow, some way, be in a position to keep this club up now, Dave. Now, the job has got massively more difficult in the last 40 hours uh, to a point where some football managers have told me it's now impossible. Well, we like being the underdog, Dave. And I promise you something, we're going to drive this club forward as much as we can. But I think before that happens, I think there has to be a, a meeting this week, Dave, where we um, understand the full situation before we progress it from there. And you, you spoke about it there, the under 20 slats that came on today. A lot of them have been on the fringes. A couple of them featured against Montrose. You know, they, they really did step up today right until the, you know, the final whistle. There was chances on goal. There was opportunities pushing forward. He must be very proud of them this afternoon. Massively. I mean, I think it, it kind of shocked him about 1-0 up, Dave. It didn't shock me because a couple of the, um, the, the passing moves today, when this move in the second half was magnificent between Kieran uh, and Peter and obviously Robbie Mann almost equalised to make it 2-2. Um, and there's been some great performances today, Dave, and the problem is it's hard to stand here and talk about football after the week we've had with the football club. Um, but you're right, I think it was some heroic performances today, and a lot of the under-20s now know the tempo that League One's played at, and a couple of them told me after 50 minutes, Gaffer, I'm gassed, kinda, and that was nice for them to be honest and tell us that so we could take them off and replace them with, the, with some of the other under-20s. But tough week, Dave, but we have to galvanise and go again. And obviously last night the under twenties won, you know, great win five one today. You know, again under twenties on the pitch doing you proud. Does that you know make you feel like okay, this 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 pathway system that the club has in place, in spite of the the recent you know trouble that the club has had, you know, it's a positive to take from from this situation. Yeah, well, myself and the coaching staff were at the game last night. They won five one comfortably, um, and it's great there because now we can start looking more in that direction. We're going to have to. Um, and it's a great opportunity for these young lads now because it's an opportunity, Dave, that wouldn't have presented itself in any way, shape or form. Usually you're picking one or two, Dave. Um, now we're picking eight, nine and ten.
to, to come and play League One football. So they're going to have to toughen up quickly and realise the tempo this game's played it, which I think they now do after today. But extremely proud of them. And I think it's important to mention again Adam Kearney and his coaching staff because they've been getting these guys ready. Um, and I know we've sort of kind of thrown them in the deep end today. They have had to. Um, but overall, I think the overall feeling this week is empathy for the players. Um, and very proud of the young lads that have come in today, along with a few of the more experienced lads that have tried to help them throughout the match today. And some results went our way today. You're only one point off of an athletic again in that kind of playoff spot. Does that again spur you on for Queen and Southdown next week? Yeah, and I think if you ask Stirling today, I think they're probably a little bit surprised of how close the game was today, given the fact that we've had six, seven, eight lads making the League One debut today. Uh, and that has to give us some hope moving forward. Excellent. Cheers, Michael. Thanks Thank very you. much.